Hello, exalted gamers, and welcome to Spore Galactic Adventures. When last we left off, we conquered the world and built a spaceship. So yeah, this is that spaceship. And now on with the game. We have a transmission from our planet, apparently. Congratulations, cadet. You got a fine ride there. You're still adding new equipment to your ship, but we should have it ready for space travel in no time. Have you, ever, have you flown a spaceship before? No? I have. <laughs> well, I mean, well, nothing like a test flight while the entire population of of the Captainian of Planet Exalted Gamio looks on. What do you say? Where do you earn your captain's badge? Um, actually, I'm thinking... All right, yeah. Prepare to leave the planet. In this case, we're seems like we're not looking at our new captain. You ready to take on more exciting missions? Yes. What's next? Get on your spandex suit. We're sending you on a space journey. We suspect we're not alone in this galaxy. We, we picked up strange radio signals from planet Hydes in orbit around our home star. We want you to investigate. We commend you, Captain. Mission Control out. Right, yeah, I just I know how everything works. I didn't want to go through the tutorial again. If you want to see the tutorial, go ahead. Feel free to. I I just don't like it. Tools. Can I save now? No. Right, I can only save when I'm in space. We have, like, some kind of cuboid moon. Alright. Alright, uh... Okay, now I can save. Alright, I need to pause. Alright. Need to pause real quick. We will be right where we left off when we get back. Okay, we're back, and, uh, yeah. A few things, there are, yeah, there are a couple things I want to do before we go to Hydes. For one, while I was gone, I thought of a cool name. For our for our spaceship that you're probably actually going to like, even if you don't know what it means. Modify. We're going to take away those ridiculous blast wings too. The Cavalier. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, no more ridiculous blast wings. Now, cool wing things. Actually, you know what? Let's keep the blast wings. I like the blast wings. This is the, they're a bit big. And, nah, screw it, I like them. You can attach these. To the back. Yeah. That's... That's how we're gonna do it. Alright. Save and exit. Yep. And... Move out. Alright, and next, uh... Right, we are going to give this guy a cool outfit. Since the base stage, we have new customization options. Energy and health. I don't remember. That's part of Spore Galactic Adventure. We don't have to worry about that right at the moment. So yeah, we get all we get all of this. I'm going to attach these to his shoulder. Attach this. To... Attach this to where I'm going to assume his ear is. 
Uh, actually, no. That's a zero right there. What am I talking about? That's where that goes. We already have shoulder blade, but we don't have... Cool wings! That make us look awesome! Alright, I forgot. Uh... I think that looks cool. <laughs> I'm not going to attach the jetpack because here, uh, somewhere, these are like cool things that give us cool abilities, and somewhere in here, there's an actual jetpack that actually works, and this is. This is just for decoration, right here. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna see if this looks cool. It looks awesome, but nah. This will be cool to add later, when we get more parts. I'm going to add the iBot. Sounds appalling. <laughs> Moving too fast. I I need to get him to open his mouth. So nah. <laughs> I'm trying to give him like a cool mechanical jaw here. The thing is, I want to I want it to move with his jaw. Hey, maybe you just can't do that. Yep. Oh no, it was moving. It was moving. Okay, cool. That guy. That guy looks cool. Or maybe not. Maybe he doesn't look cool. Maybe he looks like crap. I think I'm gonna take away that, but he's still, still what we've got. What we've got looks cool. Alright. And... Save and exit. Captain Conan. Alright, this, uh, the, these are weapons that we can get. These are also weapons. This, these help with energy to power these weapons. 
this helps with health. This helps with uh, charming other people. This also, this also helps with charming. This helps you sprint, and this lets you glide. This lets you use stealth, and this lets you fly. Just like, just go straight up into the air really fast. And this is battle armor. To Hides. To Hides. Damn, that's a fast ship. And then there's this part that always just gives you the creeps. Let me show you up on the ship's radar. Crash spacecraft, and it's emitting a strange radio signal. Fly to it and use the scan tool to investigate the crash site. Right, I know. Aliens, but no signs of- Aliens, but no signs of life. Looks like they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait, the wreck has triggered a transfer beam. Some items are coming aboard. <gasps> Could it be the remaining crew? Oh god. Missiles and an interstellar drive, which seems which seems to have an unknown star's coordinates programmed into it. The wreck's damage look like looks like it came from a fight. The ship must have been sent from some other planet to get help. Interstellar drive from the wreck is responding to a, is responding to a beacon from a nearby star that matches the coordinates in its, in its memory. This must be the home planet. They may still be needing help. Right, and so we are here. Cutlek. Lick. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. <gasps> Too late. These ruins must be what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Scanning the ruins may reveal as to what happened here. <laughs> Scan came up with nothing, but it seems to have triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. How did we not notice that thing before? Scan must have triggered the colony's defenses. These drones don't look friendly. What do they look like? <laughs> Wait, an incoming tra trans transmission. Warning! Grox intruders detected! All Grox intruders will be terminated. Grox? Initiating, initiating self-defense code Grox999. All Grox intruders will be terminated. We are not Grox. Warning, all Grox intruders will be terminated. For the last time, we are not Grox. And tools like a mini laser cost energy to use. What are those things? I seriously cannot tell what they are supposed to be. How is that? Wikipedia? Hmm. I didn't think this is actually this would actually be a pretty good place to colonize. Uh, the only thing is that it has no spice, as you can see, and only experienced sport players will look at what I mean. Rossetti device has, reve has revealed strange radio signals emitting from the star. Duh! 
Flying and explore. This is our home planet, Seti. Uh. Mission accomplished. We knew we weren't alone in the galaxy. Traces of an extinct civilization, hostile security drones, and the Crocs. It is obvious that we must continue our exploration of the galaxy and potentially prepare for hostilities. In order to do so, we'll need to set up colonies as bases of operation. Scientists are, al are already reverse engineering the interstellar drive to replicate its technology. Also developed a SETI device for your sh- Then what just picked up this- If you've just developed the SETI device, what just picked up the transmission coming from this particular system? God. Our engineers are stupid. Okay, by signals of our stars that you target, we need you at the helm of our space program, Captain. Aye aye. Specialty fall! Need We're you uh, Don't get mad! Uh, Why is it my fault? Stop it! <laughs> we need to expand our empire and our wealth by building colonies and other planets for mining resources. We've drafted we've drafted a few thousand volunteers to be part of the colony colony and credit pack, which we've placed in your colonization bin. Our Astra numbers have been uh, observing the heavens and have identified a hospitable planet Denemy. Uh, I don't know how much more I can read. <laughs> Placing colony is easy. After flying to planet Denemy, select the colony tool that has been added to your colonization tool bin and place the colony on land near a spice geyser. It will in instantly unpack, creating a colony. No assembly required. You might want to make contact with the colony to make sure the citizens we packed in there are unpacked safely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make sure. us enemy, see? <laughs> Ooh, music. I like this music. Alright. Star maps. Star maps. I know how star maps work. Jeez. <sighs> planets in green. Planets in green orbit paths. You see this green, blue. Green means good. Blue means cold, and red means hot. Or blue orbit paths. Denemy. Hang on, I just wanna... Huh, okay. Very oblong planet. <coughs> and also a very small one. Are you sure that this is a good... Yeah, okay, I can see the curvature of the Earth. I can see... Thing. It's pretty easy. Like, I can see the curvature of the Earth. Actually, no. Wait, no, I can't. But admittedly, that is not, that is not exactly what I would call a horizon. Congratulations, you've grown your empire, each colony, blah blah blah. Productivity is tied to a size test, ter Terra score. T okay. Grown your empire, each colony's productivity is tied to its size, the size is limited by the Terra score of the planet. Invest in terraforming, the then add colonies and buildings to reap the highest rewards. So basically, there is a Terra score setting, and um. Terra score zero, like this place, uh, means that not only is it a very hazardous place, but you can't actually, if you place a colony there, you can't do anything on that particular planet. So, Terra score one means that it's not hazardous, and you can place colonies and they can do stuff. Terra score two means that you can have two colonies on there at one time. 
and Terra scored three, which means that you can have three felonies. Except with your home plan, which you can have and have uh, ten at any one time. There are a lot of comets. Okay, I don't like that we've got a guy just like right there. Exalted Gamia. Once again, excellent work, Cal. Our Empire One Day Galaxy will be counting on you. Terra scores. Conditions are on your colony planet. More pressing matters. I mean, Captain, we have intercepted. Right, he said he's war. Short Wayne's communicator is equipped with universal translator. Communicate. We haven't been able to pinpoint the exact location of these transmissions, so we usually explore that a little bit. After reaching interstellar space, targets target stars that trigger a response from your SETI tool. Space flight will cause wear and tear on your ship. Turn help for repairing or recharging your ship when needed, or checking with the mission and control the for other space program assignments. Good luck in your search. Ah, can't wait until the tutorial's over. I have to. I can stop saying everything that anyone ever says. So annoying. The judge him. It looks like a flying factory. Drake's equation was right, a living alien race. We are not alone. Looks like they have sent an envoy to greet you. Perhaps you should talk to them. Open your communications panel. Hi. The, the Judge Empire are regional people. The reason that your species might soon be crushed beneath our military might. What do they look like? Clear, clear that up, guys. Guys. There we go. Hi. I'm from the Captinian. I come from the world that you approach with humility. Stranger. Uh, I'd know about your race. Ask questions about the Judge Empire. Captain is nervous. Captain is afraid. Afraid of the Judge Empire. Good. All species should fear the Judge Empire. Well, that ta that tells us a lot right there. <laughs> Follow the philosophy of force. We are strong and mighty, and our numbers are great. Force keeps us strong and brings us victory on the battlefield. Tell me, who has more power than the Judge Empire? Sometimes others think they are stronger. Each time they are wrong. There is only one species that we cannot defeat. But you are not them. Thanks for sharing. How about that acting, huh? <laughs> Those are the judge. And they are not our business. I'm just looking around for a cool. Yeah, that's okay. Ah. <sighs> Download from your data recorder is quite amazing. Oh, so close by. We're on our way. Good idea to forge a relationship. With this race. Any assignments. Hopefully, give us some good graces. Maybe interesting trade. Boost to Empire's wealth. I'm in. Sees spice amounts <laughs> surplus <laughs> potential buyer spacefaring races boost wealth. I'm just I'm just kind of outlining it at this point. <laughs> spice you want collected colonies loaded cargo bin find another empire. Sell them the spice, essentially. Okay. I have to repair my charge. 
All right, let's sell let's sell these guys some red sand. Some red sand. Yeah. Eh, who's there? No solicitors. Oh, you again. The, the judge empire doesn't like you. Of course we don't like no one. At least we know you, so you're ahead of the game there. Well, what do you want? I can't trade with them. <laughs> Alright, technically I'm still in the negative, right? Travel to the planet Zular and investigate. We're not sure what journey awaits you, but it will be dangerous. A spacecraft is only half of the responsibilities of a space captain. The other half requires planet side tactical skills where you. Okay, we're supposed to be getting this pep talk from our from our guys. Just pretend that this is our. Where you and your crew will need to leave your spaceship and beam down to planet. Speak down. My planet scientists have fitted your ship with a teleportation device that will beam you and your crew down to the planet's surface to perform planetary missions. All the cool captains have them. Ready to visit Vat Tago? Don't you count me in. Roger, yeah, see, Roger that mission control. We were supposed to get that talk from our guys over here, so just pretend that that was them. I just I needed a mission to Zular. Becoming a space captain. I know how. I know how to become a goddamn space captain. Oh, whatever. Beam down. Dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. Cool adventurous music. <laughs> Hell yeah! Welcome to Vat Tago, a bustling space world with lots of interesting characters. Speak with the locals to find out more about adventures becoming a legendary space captain. Captain, I know, I know how it works. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm all right. It's just all the tutorial I'm getting. It's getting on my nerves. Usually, it's a lot easier because I don't have to read out every single thing that anyone ever says. Okay. The Spaceport Authority and here and it's your servant welcomes you, Captain. If you're looking to become a great space captain, then you've come to the right place. Feel free to have a look around and introduce yourself to the local life forms. If you're left, the merchant will notify you of his latest of, of of his latest merchandise and how to take possession of them. Okay. Behind me, the space traveler will, will inform you of the interstellar customs for obtaining new assignments and how to get out of an adventure in case of unexpected failure. To your right, the quartermaster will tell you about crew matters on and off the planet. This is all. Okay. The competition. Our competition can't beat our prices. We need to slap some stuff on the back of our guy. Hello, my friend. Come closer. Closer. Not too close. Melikai. Must see the good stuff. Not what he what the what, what defines good stuff? <laughs> I got a pulse gun for you, a lightning sword, and a regal ring. There are thirty-two new accessories to choose from, all of which have unique abilities. To unlock it, you'll need to rise up to the ranks of captain. Unlock. Rise up the ranks of captain, unlocking a new part for each captain level. To equip new accessories, enter the outfitter just before you go into an adventure by clicking on the Enter Outfitter button. There, you can equip your captain with the appropriate accessories. Good luck! Hey, Scrawler. Yo ho ho, Captain Always oh, nice seeing a fellow traveler around these parts. That's a bad pirate voice, hang on. 
Yeah. I was sitting here by my homeworld like you, but then my ship ran out of energy and I got stranded here. I get, I'm terrible at pirate voice. Next time you want to go on an adventure, don't bother asking your own folks, though. Visit other empires, they all have missions for you, many of which will be planetary adventures. Chakita. To ensure you never run out of adventures to go on, subscribe to Sporecasts, Buddy Feeds, and download your own adventures. Keeping your Sporpedia full of adventures is, impor is important. The Kulikuto and <laughs> I could probably rank, rise up to the ranks of level 10 in all the adventures that I've created. I started playing this game a long time ago. If you would like to leave an adventure that you've been down to, don't panic. Click click on the Exit Adventure button, and boom, you'll be back on your ship. Have fun! This is the Exit Adventure button. Okay, <sighs> <sighs> Hello, Captain! Quartermaster Snuffle, at your service. No, Captain. Shut up, I need to speak! No Captain is complete without a good crew to beam down with you. You probably want to know how, huh? But it's pretty easy. You can have tons of charisma with me and recruit them on the planet. Right, guys? Okay. But that's only temporary. Making allies with other planets and will add them to your fleet and to your crew to beam down with you. Not all adventures will allow your crew to beam down with you, most don't. Also, your crew will be saved from one adventure to the next. So, as long as you keep your allies in friendly terms and alive, you'll be golden. Got it? Good. Whoa, is that... It's Captain Sonny! <laughs> A real-life space captain has docked his ship at Pat Tego. Right, you can read this here. <laughs> captain Sonny. Hey. Hey, kiddo. I just got back from Gamma Mega 9 and busted an illegal spot at Poaching Ring. Those cheeky guzzards won't be causing anyone... Um, won't be causing any more trouble. So you want to be a space captain, huh? Well, the road isn't going to be easy, and danger lurks on every planet. Let me tell you how to get started. First thing you want to do is hone up on your captain skills by taking adventure missions from alien empires. By, com by completing adventures, you'll earn experience towards new captain ranks, allowing you to unlock new accessories and abilities. You'll also, unlock you also, you'll also unlock some powerful super weapons for your spaceship. What are you waiting for? Get off this trash pile and go find some work. Fuck <laughs> this guy. One more time. Let's make this quick. This is so good. I hope your data. I hope your data mining endeavor proved bountiful, Captain. As you can see, there is a galaxy of adventures awaiting you, and a galaxy waiting for the next great space captain. It appears your paperwork is in order. Your journey begins now. Are you ready? Return to your home planet to complete the mission. Goodbye. <laughs> And game show music. His wings are in his face. What the hell? Congratulations, you've completed. And you leveled up. And now we get to get a new captain part. We can have Wolverine claws, Assassin's Creed blade, fuel. Uh, like energy thing, plant health thing, cheesy singing cape, cheesy singing harp, speed thing, and battle armor. I'm gonna go with Wolverine claws. I was thinking of cool names to call all of these things, but like, <laughs> once I got to this, I was at a loss for words. I did like Wolverine Claws and Assassin's Creed Blade. Okay. Now we go into the Captain Outfitter. Enter Outfitter. 
And give our guy. How awesome is that, huh? A big fucking Wolverine claws. Even though we already have huge claws. You wanna take me on? Get wrecked! Yeah! I'm thinking we take away the, uh, the full wings, as we already have wings of our own. And, uh, place this. And this. Sometimes older is better. I want my guy to look cool, not space, not just space AG. Oh no, that looks cool. Now that, that, is, that is cool. to make him uh, I think that looks cool in my opinion I think no screw it. let's just get let's just stick killed Got some armor plating under there. And back here, we'll have some. I'll have some armor. We'll have some more armor plating. See, is that, is that stuff visible from that end? Technically, what we want is that. Uh, it just looks weird from that angle. But for now, yeah, I think... Killed a little bit of armor plating underneath. Swag tastic. <laughs> That's the thing, it moves with his neck. I want I don't want it to move with his neck, I want it to move with his chest. But at the same time, I don't want it to be attached. Actually, you know what? That looks good. That looks good. I think that looks cool. And then, no captain is complete. That is metal. Let's 
let's kind let's hide it a little bit, as if like I don't know, but or we could. Uh, my hand is fall trying to fall, starting to fall asleep. There, there. That is that is a true captain right there. All right. So yeah, this has been not the most exciting episode, but you know, made some progress. I do I do hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you really liked it. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. All right, recording button.